we know that we have been blessed. To have the opportunity to take care of this land. It's very evident what's passionate people, and you know it, it, it's hard to uh, hard to hide it. I, I don't try to hide it. That's the only way we've stayed in business is increasing production and, and, and efficiencies. Uh, we certainly couldn't. You couldn't stay in a cotton business or any other business making what yields that we made 20 years ago in yields and performance and safety and flavor, abundance. They, we got to feed a bunch of people in the years to come. They asked me what was the one thing that allowed us to stay in business as long as we've been here since by 1860. And my answer was, was relationships. And I said relationship with your God, your family, your producers, your buyers, your, your suppliers. There's three farmers and a bunch of environmentalists. Now these people, they were either regulatory or in, in the industry or made, made, made some products for, for it. And I walked through a trade show prior to talking. And this was back a good many years ago, but you know, they'd just come out, everything was green. That was the big word, green. Well, when I got given my little presentation, I just couldn't help it. I got up and I said, y'all folks, y'all really think that y'all invented this word green. I said, y'all using it mighty hard. I said, but you're about 65 years late because we named our farm Greenview Farms back then. So we've been, we've been uh, practicing green for a long time. The other word y'all think y'all have invented is sustainability. I said, we've been here since 1860. That's sustainability.